All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises on the glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the other apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Coming at you again with another quick little lesson through the spirit. Uh, I was watching news earlier, earlier this week, and they had something called the Speedo Santa Race. So what you have is a bunch of these Edomites that's literally running in the cold, half fucking naked, all for charity, for children. And so this is truly the spirit of Christmas, whether you want to talk about giving presents, gifts, charity, things of that nature. But them being half naked, and you know it's a lot of weird shit going on with people that do shit like this. They're literally, if I'm saying that word right, they're literally in the ancient spirit of fucking Christmas, man. All right? And I'm going to go straight to it. Where we at? Where we going? Where we got? All right. Now, I'm going to read this one. All right? So this is Saturn, uh, Saturn, uh, Elia, Saturn, Saturn, Elia, Saturn, Elia. All right. It says it was a Romans mid winter knees up a topsy turvy holiday of feasting, drinking, singing in the street naked. <laughs> All right. So these guys were rioting because that's what you what you call partying. Uh, rioting, right? All manners of types of bullshit because basically it was a day to do whatever the fuck you want to when you uh, get the essence of the story, all right? Um, drinking, singing in the street, naked, clapping hands, gambling in public, making noise. That's where you get all these carolers from and everybody want to go out in the street and sing. and yeah, fuck that, all right? But um, that's what it's based on, man. Hey, and as you see, they used to consider this a holy day. All right? Matter of fact, let me jump straight to this part because I'm going to be doing a lot of jumping around. The uh, ordinarily rigid and conservative social restrictions of the Romans changed. So instead of being what you would call well-mannered, this was the day to do whatever the fuck you wanted to do, man. Here it go. It says, for example, masters served their slaves during the feast and adults would serve their children and slaves were allowed to gamble. So it was like opposite day. All right. Uh, do shit that you're not used, uh, used to doing. All right. All right. So guess what? If, if males wanted to be females, this was the day to do it and vice versa, man. Now check this out. In the arist uh, in the aristocracy, who usually wore conservative clothes, dressed in brightly colored fabric fabrics such as red, purple, and gold, which is a symbol of uh, royalty. All right, you had different classes in Rome. All right, this outfit was called uh, what was that uh, synth uh, synthesis synthesis, which meant to be put together. They will put uh, together what uh, whatever clothes they wanted. So they dressed however the hell they wanted to, man. Matter of fact, where's the part where it says the man dressed as woman and vice versa? Now, they're, they're going to different history, like you get into Catalyst, you get to Caligula, uh, Caligula, Caligula, however you say that weird ass nigga name. All right. Um, God, I just want to get to the point. Like I said, Caligula, they made it into a five day holiday. 
See, a, a lot of this shit that people worship today is just fucking tradition, man. It, it's, they're taught by the precepts of men, all right? Um, hold on. Now, here, here, here's the gift giving. And Saturnalia was more about uh, a change in attitude than presence. But a couple of gifts that were given uh, were white candles named Syria, clay face named uh, Sigillaria. That's fucking Latin. as a motherfucker. <laughs> the candles uh, signify the increase of light after the solace which was uh, a Saligria, where li- little ornaments people exchange. Now, you got people, what? They put ornaments on a tree. Uh, matter of fact, let me get this. I know it's during Maya. Lock your bear with me. Jeremiah 10 and 3. The customs of the people are vain, for one cut of a tree of the forest and work in the work uh, the hands of the workman with the axe, they deck it with silver and gold, and fasten it with nail and with hammers, that it move not. They are upright as a palm tree, but speak not. They must need be born, because it cannot uh, go. Be not afraid of them. They can neither do evil, neither uh, is it in them to do any good. All right? So going back to this, all right? The ornaments, man. Which, this has nothing to do with our fucking customs, man. These were sometimes hung in greenery, such as a... uh, as a form of decoration, and people will bring in holly and berries to honor Saturn. So that's what that fucking tree goes back to, man. All right? G- gifts to a fucking false god, Saturn, man. Okay? Yeah, I'm gonna get to the part where they fucking. Now, look, they had a whole big fight. They said the church had a subtle that the 25th of December was the date of Mashiach's nividity, uh, which they're completely wrong. Uh, Yahweh was born in the springtime, man. Simply put, he's the Passover lamb, so spiritually, why would anything else be different? Um, Hold on, this is almost, okay, I got that. So this is basically everything I just read. Let me go to the traditions. Right. Role reversal. Saturn uh Saturnalia. Saturnalia was characterized. By role reversal and behavioral license, slaves were to treat it, were treated to a banquet of the kind usually enjoyed by the masters. Ancient sources deferred on circumstances. Some suggested the masters and slaves dined together, while others indicated that slaves feasted first and the masters uh, actually served the food. It says the practice might have varied over time, right? Said slaves were basically able to say whatever the hell they wanted to to the masters. Um, the wearing of the toga. Salakia, uh-huh. hold on. Right. Um, they had gambling. 
I want to stick with this ro- role reversal, but shit, I had it and I fucking lost it. See, and then you have the gift giving. And it says what? Children receive toys as gifts. Now, going back to this whole Santa race, that's what it's supposed to be for, children. All right? Yeah, that's what the whole charity thing is for. Let me see if I can find it again. See, hopefully it takes us straight to it. I read it earlier, I know that. I'm just really trying to get to it. All right, so here we go. As a matter of fact, they're calling this a a Q festival. You know, I'm a as you you guys see the word right there. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but nonetheless, it was a Q festival. It was sources mentioned lads running around naked about the place, cross dressing for dinner, tops becoming bottoms, masters warning their servants. I mean, waiting on their servants. Sausages, wine, so on and so forth. All right. A matter of fact, it says um, it said women used to dress up as men and men as women, and vice versa. All right. So this this whole thing, a matter of fact, that goes back to the law. All right. Let me get it. Just Deuteronomy twenty two and five. A woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither should a man put on woman's garments. For all that do so are an abomination to Yahweh thy power. In a sense, this is exactly what is going on here, man. This shit is fucking madness, man. And you see, this is mainly Romans doing this. Edomites, man. This is their natural spirit. Okay, and they're doing all this for charity of kids, man. Look at this shit. Hey, like dude said, man. Hold on. Quit. Hey, <laughs> dude said it right, man. Look at this shit, man. So the, the, this is truly... This this happens in each and every city. This is truly the the spirit of Christmas, man. All right, some tomfoolery, man. And you know what? People don't care. They don't. 
<laughs> of course, the Atlanta one. Yeah, look at this shit. Madness, man. This is fucking madness, man. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all can judge this for yourselves, man. All right? Yeah, this shit is totally against the scriptures, man. Hey, but that, hey, this, that was a little history lesson on the whole day, you know. Through the spirit, I, I pray this was edifying. You know, I read a couple of scriptures, but it was mainly digging into this thing and seeing how wicked this shit is, man. And with that, hey, I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Karkarash, double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Ba ba ba.